And welcome to the Blitz, everybody. Chris Berman along with Tom Jackson and a, uh, a happy Columbus Day weekend, everybody out there. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys with stuff swirling. Pac-Man Jones incident during the week. Oh, by the way, they're a four and one football team going into Arizona where they used to go all the time. A lot of Cowboy fans go to see the Cowboys play in Arizona, but Cardinals may be a little different this year, at least at home. We're going to show you something here on the Blitz. See, they played pro football 89 years. Mm -hmm. It's never been seen before in the history of the National Football League. Here you go. You're going to see it right here on the Blitz. Tony Romo, Kurt Warner, you figured this would be a passing affair, but, well, it certainly began with a bang. J.J. Arrington opening kickoff, makes a move left, and just like that, whoop, makes a move, and he could go all the way with the convoy. Opening kickoff, touchdown, 7 nothing. Cardinals. Wade Phillips, Dave Campbell go, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but in the first quarter, these are two of the highest scoring offenses. This is what you saw. Kurt Warner, fumble, kicked around. Cowboys have it. Next drive, Cowboys. Tony Romo in business. Certainly they're going to go up top, Tom. Romo back to pass. Bang. Bertrand Berry hits him. Fumble. Antonio Smith for Arizona. Two turnovers and two plays. Yeah. Flozell, the hotel gets beat. Yeah, uh, Bertrand Berry working on Flozell Adams at that left tackle spot. Great job of coming up behind the quarterback. And you can say Teal, Teal and I, 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 I don't mind this, getting on the offensive line, block for the quarterback. 50 yards in the first quarter, three turnovers, these two offenses. Second quarter gets more interesting. Darnell Dockett. It's going to hit Tony Romo. It's a fumble. Arizona on the ball. And another play. An odd one results in a touchdown. But wait. Romo knew exactly what he was looking for. He told his coach, Wade Phillips challenge. Yeah, he's trying to tuck the ball. And I guess this is the definition of the tuck rule. Once you pull it back, basically nothing is going to happen whether the ball's fumbled or not. So that's it. No fumble, no interception. Dallas ball. And wouldn't you know it. Instead of 14-0 one way, it's Romo to Patrick Creighton. And now, with just a minute to go in the half, it's 7-7. What a change of events. Yeah, and Andrew roll right there has, has Creighton as he comes up the hash mark. He lets him go when he goes into the middle of the field. Pretty easy pitch and catch for the quarterback wide receiver. So we're tied at the half at 7-all. Cowboys come out with the ball in the third quarter. And Romo, Terrell Owens, makes a shoestring catch. Then Romo looking Owens again. He had three catches for 27 on this drive, four for 36 overall. Later in the drive, it's third and four at the 14. Tony Romo, Miles Austin. And what a grab that is in front of two defenders. What a perfect throw. Well, look at Austin created a little space right there. He spins inside but goes toward the sideline. Nice throw by Tony Romo. Beats uh, rookie Dominic Rogers Cromarty. There. Kurt Warner, Arizona gets a break, tipped, but in the hands of their fifth round draft pick, Tim Hightower. He's a spider from Richmond, 17 yards, burnt down. First and goal later drive, Warner to Larry Fitzgerald. He made a circus catch earlier, was ruled just out of bounds, made no mistake this time. And did you see Pac-Man Jones' head was inside when Larry Fitzgerald went to the sideline? That half a beat made him late to that ball. <laughs> <laughs> We're tied at 14. Cowboys forced to punt now. First play, fourth quarter. Warner, deep. Larry Fitzgerald, how about those hands, Tom? I think the best hands in the National Football League. Kurt Warner throws a jump ball. And, boy, he's already seen him pull a lot of those down. Jerry Jones, uh, Stephen Jones, boy, that's pretty good, isn't it? But Fitzgerald had a big game, and so did Steve Braston, who's really stepped up while Anquan Bolden is hurt. Touchdown, Cardinals, 21-14, an 11-yard touchdown pass. Two minutes to go, it's 24-14. Arizona's going to put it away. Not yet, they're not. Romo to Marion Barber. He's going to go out of... No, he's not. He's... No, he's not. He goes all the way, 70 yards. Look at the move, and in there. 24-21, a field goal game. Cardinals possession, about 44 to go, third and seven. DeMarcus Ware for the ninth straight game as a sack. Forces the Cardinals to punt. Ensuing drive. Can Dallas get in field goal range? Third and 11, 
22 seconds to go, Romo. Jason Witten, 30 yard pickup, first down. Hurry up, we gotta spike it. Hurry up, hurry up. And they get to the line and spike. But wait, offsides adds five more yards because Travis LeBoy was hurt and he couldn't get to the line. Well, just watch him here coming in from the right side of the screen. He's gonna get knocked down and knocked back and could never get back to the line of scrimmage. Gonna cost him five So yards. Tommy to the 35 instead of the 40, which makes it a 52 yard attempt from Nick. Just plain folk. <laughs> good, it's good. Wouldn't have made it from 57. We'll never know, but folk ties it at 24. And so now Dallas in business and wins the toss for overtime. But Arizona plays some defense. They cover the kick well, then it's third and 18. She figured the house is going to get the ball. They're going to score. It's going to be over. But it's incomplete. And now they have to punt. Matt McBriar set to punt. And the special teams captain, Sean Morey from Brown University, blocks the punt. Marty Beisel on it. And for the first time in NFL history, a game ends on a block punt and recovery for a touchdown. What Bang. a tremendous job of getting inside the outside guy had a free run to the ball and young kids understand he aimed at the spot. He didn't jump on the kicker. Sean Morey signed by Ken Wisenhunt. He was the special teams captain when Wiz was coordinator under Bill Cowher and the Steelers won the Super Bowl in Pittsburgh. I want you to play special teams. He got him a game by that signing and the Cardinals win over the Cowboys 30 to 24. Arizona first place by themselves as they were last week the latest in the year in 20 years since 1988 pretty good start for Ken Wisenhunt it was a hard-fought game today there was a lot of times during the game where I thought our team could have given up maybe in the past not responded the way they did but I think it's a credit to the progress we made almost a miracle finish for us it was a miracle finish at the end of the game I thought our guys fought back and uh, obviously, we didn't have a good game until then, but, but we fought back and made some tremendous plays at the end of the game. This season isn't going to go straight down this narrow path and be nice and cozy and drive a Sunday drive. It's, you're going to have ups and downs, and you're going you're to get to a point where you're going to have to turn it on. You're going to have to get to a point where you, you feel like um, you're playing really good football. And, and right now, obviously, we, we didn't play very good you know, good enough football today to win. No, I don't. No, I didn't know. No, I don't. I don't. No comment at all. Wait for Sam. What part of I don't do you not understand? Well, each team is 4-2 and two now. The big win by Arizona. Look, I know you could look at it and say, well, they return a kick for the mm -hmm, start of the mm -hmm, game, and they mm -hmm. blocked a punt to finish the game. So really, offensively, they didn't do much against Dallas. Dallas, I gained him by 100 yards, but here's what I saw. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you agree with me. Mm -hmm. Arizona played the whole game as if they physically expected to win. Do you agree mm -hmm. with that? I, I, I agree with that. I thought they won that game down in the trenches when it came to getting after Tony Romo, when it came to protecting their own quarterback, especially the last three quarters of the game. They fought a lot of adversity. And for the Dallas Cowboys, who did not play badly, I just still continue to believe that as they led up to this game, you can't tell me that you're as focused as you need to be week in and week out. And I think Tony Romo has a great take on things, which is the season may be like this. You're going to go through some tough games, mm -hmm. and are you mentally tough enough to overcome those things and be there at the end? Well, Arizona goes into a well-earned buy. Dallas goes into St. Louis. They now know that, well, the Giants are going to play on Monday. They we'll should win. They should win. <laughs> Double-digit penalties again in Dallas, Tom. Mm. It happens almost all the time. And Arizona's coming. At least at home, they've made that. They've made the big toaster a pretty good <laughs> home field advantage. Funny things happen in the desert. We'll be back with more on the Blitz.